Mexico has the best focus tree in Hearts 5 and 4. They are very weak in the early game, but their focus tree is super flexible with a ton of expansion options and it's very straightforward. So long as you're able to read and don't forget about a single focus that will cause your country to explode into a civil war five years later. One of the greatest paths in the f most fun focus trees, the, the best focus tree in the game. There we go, I accidentally clicked on Mexico, I didn't mean to. Because we're gonna be playing Ethiopia, we're gonna go with the plan of Agua Prieta. We are stupid, so we only have two research slots, which kinda sucks, but I guess we can't really, like, mm, I, I guess I could mod it away, but... <laughs> we're playing vanilla, that's not how this works. Mexico does have one of the coolest focus trees. You can go communist here and then you can go communist here but you can also go communist down here and then you can go fascist here but you can also go democratic and then like later on you can go communist or you can also... It is the Bulgarian focus tree without the bullshit. The only thing that you have to pay attention to is your church mechanic which yeah I mean that's just balance of power before they had balance of power. It's much more straightforward because you don't have your 5 billion factions that you have to deal with. You only have to shoot one guy and then you have to make sure that, you know, like you don't get too many Christians or too many atheists. Unless, of course, you do want a civil war. I thought about getting the research slot first, but ugh. Let's play efficient, which usually just means going down your political tree first and then later on you can do some weird funky stuff. Okay, we have Trotsky. We are gonna get Trotsky as the super buff guy. Red army organizer, absolutely insane advisor. Point for XP gain, 12% division org, and also a little bit of red guy support, which I'm always happy to see. Yeah, I guess we're gonna build our intel agency now. State education, which I guess I didn't do the political path after all. But man, having two research slots is just so bad. It hurts me on a physical level. Actually, we're not gonna get radios, we are gonna get the train instead. Because we are stupid Mexicans, we only have two research slots. We also don't know what a train is. I'm not sure what this stuff is or where it came from, but I guess it's an ancient artifact. Mr. President, the Mexicans have stuck out to club shoot. So? What does that mean? It means you should subscribe. Uh, I hate MIOs. I mean, I like them, I just don't like this whole setup thing. We should flip to communism first before we do that one. I will get Trotsky here, which uh, he's not really good. Like every other communist guy is so much better. Subversive activities cost is just so useless, but he's the funny ISP man, so I have to take him. Oh, wait, you can go. We have probably the worst air designer in the game. It's 38. I think I'm gonna stop greeting for some sieves now and instead we can start producing mills. Power guy wants to join us. Yes, we're unstoppable now. Part that's actually fun in this focus tree, which is invade Central America, mainly because we can get just core all of this crap. I do want the Escuela de Ingeniera, but I also, like this is also just so good, so let's go National Bank, do our industry focuses. In the meantime, I'm also just getting all of the passive defense things that we can get. It might help against Stalin shooting Trotsky, I mean, uh, Trotsky having an accident with his ice pick in Mexico. Oh shucks, I hate when this happens to me. Let's find out this weird thing of what a bandage is. Trotsky should be safe now. I hope at least. El Salvador. <laughs> you do have a lot of communism in you, but uh, that's not enough communism. Let's make it more. I am going to research transport ships. <laughs> League of Nations has ended now. Yeah, I guess Germany hasn't really done anything illegal just yet, as well as Italy or Japan. I guess Mexico is a bad guy. Just because we only have two research slots. Send like half of you out of here. Just because of supply. There you go, transport ship. One is here. I guess I'm gonna go for the second one as well. Mm, three is not a lot, but it might work against Panama. Yeah, never mind. They didn't have any troops in there. Now there's two invasions that we still have to land on Haiti. Number two on Cuba. Paraguay can actually leave. They can actually contribute to the war effort now. We do have a focus where we get war goals on the rest of South America. I'm gonna take the course and the rest can just join like that. Let's leave it a little bit RP. Yeah, no, it's not gonna work either. Might have to make proper naval invasion divisions for Haiti and Cuba. 
That sounds so wrong, man. It's Haiti and Cuba. I'm gonna keep Trotsky. We can get somebody else, but if I have to take your stupid buffs, then we're gonna be stuck together. I guess they also can't really support our invasion, so uh, why did I deploy them? When you play Mexico, you can also very easily cheese America early on. Not today. Today, I just wanna have a little bit of a chill game with my greatest friend and dominate South America a little bit. Why did I research cannons? That's no longer meta. What am I doing? I did fall off after all. Because we actually don't have that much manpower. I kind of thought we had more as Mexico. I can't even invite the Netherlands. We're already in a faction. I don't like Mexico anymore. We have to do focuses to get our MIOs. Let's try Operation Just Cause. What did you just do? Oh my, no. <laughs> Are you serious? Paradox. Para-fucking-dox. That has got to be one of their worst jokes yet. The game might be hard-coded so that we can only attack from here. But still, taking units from a general that's not even close to Panama while I have troops in Panama. And now we can do Operation Just Cause, but properly. And most importantly, because I know we're gonna fight. I forgot about Belize. I forgot about Belize. Schwarzenegger, you go down here, please. Let's try and focus the ports down. We are actually gonna get an encirclement here, so this was all planned. Ah, oh, easy money. We just kind of shot our only trading partner that we have, so I guess that part isn't that great. Yeah, I'm just gonna make a few encirclements here, I guess, before we have too many uh, Americans joining on this front. Oh, we've already dealt 300k damage to the uh, Americans just by encircling units. We don't have planes, we don't have tanks, we we have two research slots. Oh god, no, 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 that's, that's too many divisions in Houston. I guess we do have a problem here, huh? <laughs> oh, we can also integrate some. Oh god, no, 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 wait, 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 yeah, I kind of got up with that fight. Oh well, I guess we're gonna have a civil war now. I'm fine with the civil war, I'm not fine with losing half of my army. No, we lost k k k k k the, the guy, our Chinese warlord, because he's the leader of the democratic and the communist and the unaligned faction. So if you follow along at home, uh, I guess you should have done the anti disestablishment terrorism. The Mexicans are not the problem, the reinforcements that the Mexicans will get are this is the problem. And also that we are killing our own population, which is not that great. Weird as that may sound. Yeah, we're suffering from supply situation. Supply problem. No, there's Americans here! God, that's so many. <laughs> that's way too many enemies. Okay. We are winning on one of the fronts. South is looking fine. Dandy even. Okay, I think that's the first attack that I want to do. Just to split these two fronts up. Because now if we take this port, they are also all encircled. Please do not encircle my divisions. That is rude. I have to go to service by requirement because of the stupid civil war, man. Yeah, that civil war has already cost us 500,000 men. Plus, you know, all of the opportunity costs. Wait just a moment. And we also lost so many stockpiles, man. I hate that I can't read. It's my biggest weakness. Trust me. I know. Also, I will actually cave. There we go. Feel free to join me. Please don't lose South America now. Please do not let me regret this. Can we do something here? Yes. Let's get a few more machados here. There we go. Kostolitsky. That doesn't really sound Mexican, if I'm gonna be honest. Oh God, the Los Angeles pocket. That's my Stalingrad, <laughs> Los Angeles. Okay, Catholic Mexico is out. We can do some compensation. <laughs> Surely that's not too late, right? No, <laughs> the allies have arrived. If the civil war didn't pop off, we might be able to, we might have already capped the US because we would also have all of their industry and then, you know, pushing would be even easier with their resources. Actually, whoa, the US has pushed us quite a bit here. That's it, another encirclement for the encirclement pile. Yep, they have their bullshit now. Pushing is gonna be even more fun. Actually, I might be able to buy stuff. Wait a minute, I can just ask for it. We could have done that so much earlier. There we go, that's what you get friends for. Oh, that's amazing. 
I have to work so much for a single infantry division that we encircle, man. Stalemate at the front line. Actually, I wanted the armor train. Nah, whatever. Even South Africa is here. Wow. It's just like Smash Bros. You don't even... <laughs> Uruguay doesn't even know what a train is, man. My game definitely crashed mysteriously yesterday and I certainly didn't rage quit at all. Let's do some more armored trains and just pump every single factory that we have in there. Oh, we need Nevada. Utah, and I think that's everything that we are still missing. Ah, Colorado, of course. My favorite shape, Colorado. <laughs> is that what kids learn in the US? You don't learn shapes, you learn, oh, this is a Colorado. This isn't a rectangle, this is Colorado. Thank you, Quizzling. Are you serious? He was fine with sitting in his basket for the last three hours, and then as soon as I start recording, he comes up and needs attention again. Yeah, I might have to create some dedicated pushing divisions. That is a cringe naval invasion. It has so many fucking Americans. Jesus. Uh, South is looking okay-ish. They're at least holding. Okay. Another chunk of the Americans is gone. I really don't want to go down to all levels, so... Trotsky, if you get killed by Stalin, I'm sorry. I mean, by suicide, I'm sorry. But I have to pull everything I can right now. I might be insane, but I think it's time to get some field hospitals going. Fall of Vladivostok? Huh? What happened, what happened here? Why are I stuck in the common turn? What did I miss? I just realized that means that the Soviets... That Japan is... Aww. At least you're holding in Europe. At least I can count on the Nazis. Not sure I should be happy about that one. Mountain Infantry 1, let's go! Uh, it's a lot of red. Why do we have so much red? Oh god, we're missing support equipment. Uh, mom, I wanna go back home. That's a whole of three divisions if we take it. Yes! I guess we don't really have tanks anymore, so... Go up to all that old surf. Let's talk to my bank. Maybe we can pull something out. This better be a lot of stuff that you send us, because... Our Mexicans are dying for all of you right now. Thank you, Paraguay, for zero towed air anti-air. Anti I can't afford this right now. There's <laughs> a 14. Please take the ports. There we go. That's our 10 mountaineers. Wait, I can also do all of this crap. I forgot about that. Wow, that was... That sure was an attack. Thank you, Canada. That's so many allies down here. The allies don't want to join us. Then I guess we will have to do it ourselves. 70 million Soviets already taken out. Air superiority, start dealing some damage, and now I'm gonna see if those mountaineers can actually push. They should be able to, but I don't trust in anything right now. We're so far behind. TS isn't really pushing anymore right now. Yeah, that's why. They are pretty much at zero manpower now. We are going places. If we just take the stupid little desert, we have won. And not really, but uh, I have to cope on something like this right now. We are only missing Utah. Thankfully, we don't need our own territory for this right now. If we can start with this focus, that is so good. No, you, you took my expeditionary forces away. That could actually fuck up my front line down here. Because they are defending Central America right now. Thank you, Kumare. Why did I use an Italian version for that? Pomareggio, bibidi babidi, mamma Luigi. Fall of London? Oh my god, Hitler, thank you. How did the UK cap so quickly? The Axis is actually doing something in this game. And we have 50% of the score. <laughs> <gasps> the Germans have defeated the Soviets! Oh, what happened down here? And we can proclaim the one world government which has no effect because the Soviets are no longer a thing. But I don't really have anything better to do, so... There is one focus I can pick that's definitely more useful than this one. But uh, you also have 3 million manpower now. I just conscripted half of America. Canada, please, just free Britain or something. No, no, please don't free Britain. I don't want to see the AI lose that. And that's the South done. I hate Canada. It's just knock off America with a British accent. Not really. <laughs> Not even close. For as much as I'm memeing here, I actually do enjoy this. Honestly, the only thing that I know of Colorado is that one Hitman map. So Not really good memories of Colorado thus far, considering this is the other memory I have of it now. Come on, just let me encircle you. Keep on reinforcing with some units, but... That is looking very encircled. Yes, we almost have 2k fighters in 1949. But you have to take what you can get. And you have to count what you have now. And you shouldn't count what you don't have. Look who comes crawling back. I'll take it because I definitely need it. I guess 
I am gonna do one of those funky pushes here. We're pushing almost more into Canada than we're pushing into the US. Yay, I can finally start building my navy. I just remembered we have collab governments. Uh, I play as a democratic nation once and I completely forget about half the mechanics that exist in this game, man. There's not really anything left on the US side. Why are you all on scraping the barrel and don't have manpower anymore? How did you lose one million men? You weren't even on the front. You were just ramming into this one naval invasion. I don't care, please guys, just push everyone. You can push if I right click, come on. Bring me salvation for the emperor. South Africa, Germany, please end this. You don't have to take out South Africa. Oh my God, we have one. Number one, I need to take my own territory back. Thank you, I love this mechanic. And I'm also gonna take all of the US and Victoria, named after my favorite game. I kind of wanted to steal some boats, so I guess the HMS York is our navy. Butchered Australia. We have a nice D-Day that we can also attack from. Japan still hasn't taken China. 